right, people, what's going on today? Right now it's raining. It's about, uh, I don't know, maybe 7.30 in the morning. I still want to go do some bee stuff today. But obviously, when it's raining out, you really can't work the bees too much. There's my soursop tree. I got some uh, palmaria cuttings. And those some agave cactus in there, provided by a friend of mine. Uh, this is a nice uh, cactus here. But yeah, it's starting to rain out and I gotta get out of the rain. A few moments later. Okay, so we got, uh, we got 81 degrees. It's about 3 p.m. now. It's Sunday, November 24th. Uh, in my last video, I was cut off. Uh, sorry about that. Again, I was using my cell phone. Uh, this time I'm using my Canon Vixa. So uh, this is my DIY tote. Again, I mentioned that there's a Hive Butler tote that's a molded, uh, basically a molded rubber tote that's designed to hold the frames. Fantastic. I want to get like five of them if I could, but they're expensive. So as an alternative, I figured I would share this method. This is a simple tote you can pick up at any big box store. Again, make sure it has a nice tight fitting lid on it. And what I did is I went ahead and I used dowel rods. All I did is I just took a knife or a small whatever and just put a small little hole on the inside and a small little hole on that side. And you'll see it holds the frame perfectly. You can go ahead and stack the frames up like this. Now here's a tip if you have a problem with the frames kind of shaking around and falling and you know things of that nature. What you can do is you can use some burcomb. I mean, come on, how many times have you gone through your bees and you've gotten little pieces of burr comb and burr wax? All you need to do is take a little tiny bit and then just go ahead and, and stick it right there. Just stick it. Do that on each side here. And at least that'll prevent the frame from slipping and sliding and, and messing around. So that's just one way. Again, it's just wax, so it'll come off really easy. You can always reuse it if you want or just melt it down. But um, just a quick, super cheap <laughs> backyard, Southwest Florida beekeeper DIY tip for you. Okay, and you'll see the hives right here. Uh, this is the, the nucleus I'd like to go ahead and transfer into a single 10 frame. Um, just a while ago, I didn't get it on camera, but this colony down, down here with the, with the peach kind of a trim, that hive was just doing orientation flights, lots of bees coming out. So again, all I want to do for right now, focus on this colony here. I'll move this equipment out of the way, and then I'll just go ahead and transfer the frames. So let me go ahead and set that up. Okay, and you'll see this setup I have here again. This is the nucleus that we're going to be inspecting, and I'm going to put the frames in here. I have five previously spun out frames on the right hand side, and you'll see how I'm kind of keeping it covered. Uh, I don't want to cause a robbing situation. Uh, I already have the entrance reducer here on the front, and ideally I just want to be as slowly and swiftly as possible. Uh, again, I don't want to dilly-dally. So my only purpose is just to transfer the bees from the nucleus box into the single 10 frame. My vision is impaired. I got sweat on the veil. The sun is in my face and not at my back. So, again, I'm just gonna try to move forward. I'm gonna make a little more space.
see what we're kind of dealing with here. I got the new box on an incline. Bees just love, love, love to march. A little bit of smoke here. Again, promotes the reason for the bees to move out of the box. So now, these bees have some food frames to clean and Queen has a lot of space to lay. So we'll come back to them and check on them later. Now I'll keep on working on them. I got sweat in my glasses. I can't see a damn thing. Okay, let's see the bees are pretty much cleared out. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll move this equipment away and uh, we'll go from there. Again, bees love that entrance. They love the, uh, the incline and they love small entrances. Okay, folks, so uh, you'll see the activity. It looks like it could be a bit of a robbing issue. So that's why you have to keep it quick and short. Uh, just pick one task. I don't try to multitask too, too much. So that's why I didn't want to really focus on trying to put my eyes on the queen. I don't see any fighting going on at the, the landing board. Of course, that's through the camera display. I'm hoping you guys at home are getting a better video quality. Again, signs of robbing would be wrestling, bees rolling around. I think we're all right. But uh, I will pay special attention again because I didn't put my eyes on the queen. I want to make sure that there's no little cluster queen obviously hopefully was on one of the frames otherwise oops Man, it's a hot one out there. So we got that done. I got sweat pouring off me. Uh, but I hope you, uh, hope you all enjoy following my progress. I'm gonna try to keep on pumping these videos out, even if they're short, little, sweet videos. I hope to bring you along. So stay tuned. I do plan to do some queen marking coming up. I got sweat dripping all on my glasses. I got sweat into my eyes. I can't see. Hope you all uh, have a good day and uh, keep on keeping on. Thanks for your support.